All right, Libra, your overall energy. You are walking away. Peace out. You're walking away to build a stronger, firmer foundation. It's time to go. Time to go. <laughs> You're trying to be fair about it, but you're trying to do what's best for you as well. I'm seeing two eights, eight, eight, look up angel number 88. Um, but I feel like, yeah, it's either, you know, it's it's just time, tick tock, divine timing. You're trying to do what makes you happy. I feel like there was too much chaos and conflict going on. Um, so your person, this could be a new person, this could be the old person, we'll get into it and find out, but I feel like this person is observing you, watching you um, online or from a distance. They see your value, they see your worth, uh, Treasure Island. I feel like they are moving very slow. I'm seeing 999 for them. Um, and then breathe, meditation, manifestation, vis visualizing you. I think this is somebody new. <laughs> I think you're walking away from something to go towards somebody else. This person might be moving a little bit on the slow side here, but I feel like they're really into you here, uh, Libra. Let's get into it. Current situation for Libra's person. Current energies, current situation for Libra's person. Keep in mind, Libra, when I say your person, the energies can be flip-flopped and reversed, so it could be your energy instead, so feel free to switch it. The lovers, Gemini energy, a choice in love, a soulmate connection, ace of pentacles. Wow. All right. Stable new beginning here. Oh, I feel like this is good. I feel like this is good so far. Let's see what else. Current situation. Three of pentacles. That's like one of my favorite cards in tarot. That's taking your ideas, hopes, dreams, visualizations, manifestations, anything in the 5D, turning it into the 3D, making it a reality. It's also working as a team, building together, being on the same page, building towards the same future. We do have three of cups here. That could be celebration, could be third party, could be friendship. What's going on here? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, the high priestess. This person's moving very, very slow. You might be wondering why. You might be saying, you know what? If this person's going to take this long to come towards me, I'm going to walk away. I'm getting tired of waiting. I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to be balanced, but they are so slow. But they're stable. They're very planned and methodical, and I feel like they want long-term commitment. You may have met this person through a friend or a friend of a friend. I'm not feeling third party energy right now. I mean, we'll get into it, but I'm feeling it's more of like you met them out while you were like drinking, socializing, hanging out with friends or through a friend of a friend, or this is someone who started off as a friendship. Okay. Um, I do see happiness. I do see things moving here. I do see some movement, but I can tell they're, they're moving slow. What are this person's intentions with Libra? What is this person's intentions? Intentions, the world. So you could live at a distance from them. Or they're trying to close out some kind of a cycle here, having an ending for a new beginning. We also have judgment, which is scorpionic energy, a wake-up call, an aha moment, an epiphany. Could be a reconciliation. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Or they want to come to you or towards you um, as stable and grounded. Something with divine timing here. Sagittarius energy going with the flow. Divine timing. Divinely guided. What's going on? What's this person's intentions with Libra? Wish fulfillment. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius and Aries, Leo energy. I feel like this person sees you as very attractive, passionate. Um, I feel like they want to come rushing towards you, but they they stop themselves for some reason. Are you 
Uh, Libra, are you in the middle of walking away from somebody, possibly an earth sign or a fire sign, walking away from them to come towards this person and this person's just trying to take it slow? They don't want to force you, push you, or make you feel like you're being played or, or something like that. I feel like this person's very patient, waiting for you to leave a situation to come towards them. It's like once you give them the green light, they're going to come rushing in. It's like they're waiting for you. All right, what's, what's blocking this connection? What are the blockages? Someone's in a, a commitment here. I feel like it's you. It, it could be flip-flopped and reversed, okay? It, it's a general reading. The energies can be flip-flopped. For the sake of making it not confusing, I'm just going to say it's you, all right? I feel like you're in a higher level of commitment or something to do with family here. Blockages, 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 Virgo energy, Knight of Pentacles, strong Virgo. Somebody is moving a little too slow here. Creating stress, anxiety. Are you stuck in something here, Libra? Justice. Knight of Wands again. Stress, the devil, Capricorn energy. So Libra, Capricorn, Sagittarius energy. The wounded warrior fighting the good fight. Walls up, guards up. Somebody is high anxiety, stressed out. Could be stuck in something kind of toxic. Are you stuck in something toxic that you're trying to get away from? What else? What else blockages? The emperor. You're, you're stuck. Aries energy with the emperor. High priestess, Pisces, scorpionic energy. I feel like you are trying to move in silence here or trying to leave a situation. You have to be methodical about this. You have, I feel like you have to. I feel like there's somebody here that's like, I feel like you're stuck to someone that you're trying to leave behind and walk away from, but you have to be methodical because I feel like this person is a wee bit controlling. A lot controlling. I, I don't care for their energy. It's making me like anxious. And it, I don't think it's this person. I don't think it's this this other person. I think there are two people here. Earth sign, fire sign, could be any sign, could be strong placements, whatever. I do feel like you're you're stuck. And that's what's blocking you and this other person to get together, to be together. You know that's where your happiness is and you know it's just a matter of time or something in divine timing. But let's see, how does this, this new person feel about you? How does this new person feel about you? What are their emotions towards you? Oof. Heavy. The wheel. They want things to move forward. They know you're conflicted. They know you're conflicted on what to do. They want victory and success with you. They know you're trying to close out a cycle with this, this emperor. Male, male or female, there's no gender in tarot. Whoever this emperor is, this person who's like trying to control with this devil energy. They see victory and success with you. I feel like they see you, put you in a spotlight, hold you in high regard. How else do they feel about Libra? They're trying to manifest you. Yeah. They're trying to manifest you. They see you as independent. Did you cut off communication? 
Is this devil energy holding you back that that much? Are they keeping you that is that stuck? Where you may have felt like yeah. they feel like you cut off communication and now they're feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. They want to heal this. This person is way into you. Whoever this other person is, they're way into you. They want to help you. You're their wish fulfillment. You're their, their empress, male or female. doesn't matter. They know you're going through it. They know you're going through it. You're their wish. You're their son. They're going to fight for this. They're going to fight for you. But you're, you're blocking them. From helping you or from coming into your to your life because I feel like you don't want to cause any more chaos or drama or toxic energy so you're trying to be methodical with this this is definitely a heavy reading you guys like I feel like I need a massage <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling if this is resonating all right let's see what's the potential outcome here keep in mind you have free will so do they you can change your mind so can they all right, potential outcome for Libra. What's going to happen? You're walking away. You're walking away. Time to go. Time to go. Hopefully it's you walking away from whatever toxic situation this is. What is this? What's going on? Outcome for Libra. All right, Six of Pentacles. What else? Outcome, outcome for Libra. Okay. All right, so I have communication, reigniting a flame, or having a passionate new beginning with this King of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this is you walking away from this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take it how it resonates, you guys. Can we flip flop reverse? I feel like you're you're gonna find balance here. You are walking away to balance things out. I feel like you have a passionate new beginning here. You're following your intuition. You're finding some kind of a spark again, and I feel like there's communication going on. What is this? Tell me more. Tell me more. The outcome. Outcome. Yeah, see, you're you're keeping things on the DL right now. So you can get justice for yourself. Right? You're you're moving in silence. I'm making a head over heart decision. You're being logical. You're being Libra. You're you're in your energy. You're trying to be logical here with this. To move the wheel forward. Yeah, you want things to go in your favor. You want things to go in your favor. So you are you are trying to be really smart about this, this move here. So what's going to happen with you and this new person or this, this other person that's good for you? What's going to happen? Three of Swords. So making that decision and then maybe waiting before you move towards this person. So it might be you that's just moving really slow, not them. Yep, you're planting seeds, healing, putting the burden down. Oh, this person, this person, mm -hmm, this emperor person, they, they're, it's gonna be a tough go here. They're gonna stress you out because they want to reconcile with you. It's creating a burden. You're still closing out that cycle. Yep. 
Painful. It's going to be a painful ending, though. I feel like you are trying to be methodical and smart about this. But I feel like this person is just so... They're so toxically powerful. Like, I'm getting here. Like, they're sneaky. They're manipulative. But you're you're walking away. You're you're leaving this behind. You're going after your happiness. You're gonna be that fool, and you're gonna take a leap of faith. There could be a Gemini involved here too. I feel like once once this ending and this cycle close out here, and you take this leap of faith, things are gonna like speed up rather quickly here. To your happiness. It's just the matter of you breaking free from this toxicity here. It's keeping you stuck. Like big time stuck. Let me see. Um, let's see. I want more on this new person. So what's going to happen with Libra and this new person with that Ten of Cups? Yeah, you guys are going to run off into the sunset. You guys are then going to become the Empress and the Emperor. Divine counterparts. Long-term commitment. Male or female again. Doesn't matter. No gender in tarot. But you guys are going to be that perfect match. Not this controlling Emperor. This other person stepping up to be that Empress-Emperor pair. That match. Running off into the sunset together. You have, Ace of Cups is here. You have a brand new beginning. But it's, okay. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords. It's, it's a decision you have to make, though. It's something you have to do. You have to make this decision. Nobody else can make it for you. Do your research. I feel like this person is trying to observe, help you, watch you, guide you. And not in a creepy way with the watching, all right? They're just observing to help you. To help you stand your guard and help you fight for this. And then healing comes along. And a wish come true, the star. It's heavy, but it has a really happy outcome here, all right? Um, biggest obstacles you're going to have to overcome, Libra. Biggest obstacles for Libra. A lot of them. Postponement, you're putting things off. Overcoming the postponement. A new adventure, friendliness, friendship, turning into possibly romantic partnership, the creator. Listen to your intuition on this beyond illusion. You may not think that this is possible. So you may be kind of in that keeping postponing things because you don't see the change that could happen. Be receptive to change. Move in silence, maybe overcoming that or keeping quiet, not speaking up, not talking to anybody. All right, let's see. What advice do we have for Libra? Balance, yin yang, darkness, light, stay centered in your higher self. It's definitely a heavy, heavy read. Uh, regret, remorse, life regrets, loss, start making empowered choices. Chaser, yeah. In pursuit, convincing, rejection. Let them go, let it be. This this toxic emperor is chasing you. I have hesitation. Past heartbreak, broken trust, afraid to move forward. Uh, feminine, your divine feminine, you seeking her soulmate or twin. We all have feminine and masculine in our in ourselves here. Uh, so regret, change. I have fallen winter. You feel out in the cold and changes in the air. 
Now let's see, what would this person like to say? I hid who I really am from you. I'm pretty sure things came to light there. I want to be more than friends. See? See? You have somebody here that I feel like is a friend that wants something more and I feel like they're trying to help you and maybe they hid hid that from you and it's coming to light. Maybe they confess something to you. They're, I feel like they're good for you. I feel like it's something that'll give you complete happiness. <clears throat> you are the best thing in my life. I can't stop thinking about you. All right, let's see. What would you want to say? Or what would somebody else be saying? We are not right for each other. That's what you're going to be saying. I've been struggling. I forgive you. And I hope I will see you again sometime. You can forgive from within. I forgive you for your shortcomings. I forgive you for all of that, but I got to move on. I hope I see you again sometime. You know, we're not right for each other. All right, I'm going to do letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. I have D, J, X, A, U, W, V, O, M, R, L, and G. I'm also seeing Y, F, B. Excuse me. Sorry. Numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be a date of significance. Could be angel numbers. Place it where you see fit. All right. We have five, seven, eight, nine. So it could be the fifth, seventh, eighth, or ninth of any month. Could be May, July, August, or September. 57, 58, 78. 87, 85, 95. Play around with the numbers. So five, seven, eight, nine. Um, zodiac signs could be their star sign, strong placements in their charts. Uh, something could happen during that season, like Libra season, for instance. All right, we have Aries, Pisces, Taurus, and Virgo. Aries, Pisces, Taurus, and Virgo. Could be anybody, you guys, all right? Other signs did come out during this reading. Place it where you see fit. But Libra, that is what I have for you this week.